You can eat your pretzels. What? Oh, no. Thanks. How can you be so calm? David and Dorian could be getting hitched by an Elvis impersonator as we speak. Do you know how long it takes to get an Elvis impersonator? In Vegas? At least a couple of hours, and that's if there's no waiting list. Clint hired a Vegas PI to track him till we get there. He's already on their trail. So you're not worried? Trust me. We will get there with plenty of time to stop Dorian from marrying David. And maybe have a wedding of our own. I think my ears are stuffed up. Did you just say what I think you said? It depends. Did you hear me say that I want to get married in Vegas? Does Shane put you up to this? What? No. Because he was asking me about it right before you showed up today. Looking at all the chapels in Vegas got me thinking. My divorce is final now. Shane basically accepts me as his father. We love each other. What are we waiting for? Ugh, you know, I hate to get all girly on you, but I would kind of like a proposal. On bend and neither. Tray table's kind of in the way. Well, not now. It doesn't count, because I just told you I wanted it. Okay, as soon as we hit the tarmac. Oh, my God. Balsam. <laughs> Look, I know you've done this, what, three times already? But who's counting? Yeah, well, this is my first time. If it makes you feel any better, this will be my last wedding. <laughs> Mine, too. So I want all the wedding stuff. So, flowers, photographers, caterers. And you and Shane in matching tuxes. And you in a beautiful white gown walking towards me. I can live with that. So you don't mind waiting? I, I was looking forward to the drive through wait. <laughs> if you want to wait, we'll wait. As long as there's no other reason you don't want to marry me. Actually, there is. Why do you want to get married to me? Oh, it's not about you. Just when I was little and I would dream about my wedding, I always pictured my dad getting me away. So you don't think I want to come? <sighs> Rex, the last time I saw my dad was when he kicked me out of the house for getting pregnant. What? Yeah. So somehow I don't see him and my mom sitting down with a wedding planner anytime soon. I'm sorry. Sorry about what? You didn't get pregnant by yourself. It's my fault you lost your family. You're my family now. And Shane. Well, you're okay with never seeing them again? Yes, I wish Shane could know his grandparents, but I don't think they're ever going to forgive me for... What was it, um, bringing shame and disgrace to the family? You? What about them? They turned their backs on you when you needed them the most. I know. How can you forgive them for that? Well, it doesn't look like I'll ever have the chance to find out. Well, things are going to be different for Shane. He's going to have one thing that we didn't. A Z-Box? Parents who will be there, no matter what. Shane has more family than just mine. You're not saying we should spend more time with Roxy, are you? I was thinking about your father. Have you given up looking for him? No, not really. It's just you haven't talked about it in a while. I thought we agreed we didn't need to spend more time with Roxy. <laughs> so she just, she won't tell you? But if you want to know who his hair plugs... All right, all right. Isn't there anyone else? I tried. The leads I had went dead. And that's it? What else is there? Spit it out, Marasco. Rex, you're a great PI. Why else would Clint Buchanan hire you to find David and Dorian? What are you saying, that I don't really want to know who my father is? No, I just think that you're worried that you'll be disappointed if you do. So... Uh... Dr. Freud, how much are you charging me for this session? <laughs> I don't know anything about psychology. 
I just know you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to begin our descent into Las Vegas. See, we are already ahead of schedule. We're going to get there in time to stop the wedding. We better. Or Dorian's gonna get the Buchanan money, and you won't get paid squat. Please tell me you found something. This is like the gazillion casino we've been to. Now my feet hurt. Uh, a bottle of champagne was ordered and sent to the honeymoon suite and charged to Dorian Lord. So what are we standing down here for? No, I, there's no one there. I already checked. So where are they? I don't know. But I do know Dorian, and she would have gotten David back up there to consummate the thing. Ew. So do we need to go to all the chapels in this town? Uh, well, they, they were probably tired from the trip. They couldn't have gotten too far. Maybe they went to see the floor show. I thought you said they're Buddhists now. Well, it doesn't mean Vigorous doesn't appreciate a big... Gigi! What? You never told me you were moonlighting. We have to find Ava and Dorian. Right, no, I'm, poster not staring at. No, you're the only GG for me. You know that, right? Okay. Look! I'm not going to any strip tease, Rex. No, 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 not the floor show. The chapel. Let's go, that's gotta be the place. Gigi, you're on in fun. Come on. What's the matter? You look like you've seen a ghost. Something like that. We're too late. Mm -hmm.